letters. I wrote you every day for a year. You wrote me? Yes. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. Why is their water, like, always involved? Seriously, it's always raining, or they're by a lake, or an ocean, or so there's always water involved. It's not over. It still isn't over. Anyways, I watched a, actually watched another movie with some of the girls earlier this week, and the ending was by water. She was by water, she was looking out into the distance, her true love comes, he confesses his love, they kiss, and we all make fun of it, and we laugh, of course, because we know it's cheesy and we know it's fake. And here we are, Round three, we're talking about dating again. And maybe some of you are so over it, or you want to pretend like you don't care about dating. But I want you to stop lying, because you care. The truth is, we all, we all want those feelings we see on the screen. We want to find that person. Why? Because God put that desire in us. God created us to want to have relationships. God created us to desire to find that person, the one person you want to spend the rest of your life with. So this series, in this series, we're committed to helping you have meaningful relationships, whether you're dating right now or like 95% of you, you're not dating and you're just wishing you were. Last time Chad talked to the guys. This time, it's your turn. Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs> Last time the guys learned what it looks like for a guy to be a real man, to be a man of honor. But what does it look like to be a woman of honor? Because if you want a man of honor, you have to be a woman of honor. To be a woman of honor means you must demand respect, and give respect. Here's what happens though. We treat honor and respect like just a desire and love like an absolute necessity. We treat honor and respect like just a desire and love like an absolute necessity. Last time Chad mentioned how Jesus changed the culture of how men treat women. The example he shared with us was an interaction Jesus had with a woman in one of the famous stories in the Bible of the woman at the well. Jesus not only talked to this woman in a culture where men were discouraged from talking to women by themselves, she was also a hated ethnicity of Jesus' people group. Yet Jesus shows this woman honor by addressing both her physical and her spiritual needs. And this woman had needs. After talking with this woman about her spiritual and physical needs, Jesus then addresses her current love situation. In John 4, verse 16, he says, He told her, go, call your husband, come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, 
you are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, you have had five husbands, and the man that you now have is not your husband. You have, what you have just said is quite true. This woman has had five husbands and is now living with a man who is not her husband. She is a woman desperate for love, and you know this woman. You know this girl. She's the girl in your school that goes from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship. And maybe you're here, you girls, and you're like, I don't do that. But the reality is you're just as desperate as she is. The woman at the well was so desperate for love, by the time she separated from her fifth husband and was on to this sixth man, you, you would have thought maybe she learned her lesson, but no. She let this man use her and just live with her, and he wasn't even offering to marry her. This woman was deemed a slut by her society. But Jesus, Jesus gave her value. Jesus talked to her when others only talked about her. Jesus even used this woman that they deemed as a slut to bring others to faith. In verse 39, it says, many of the Samaritans from that town believed Jesus because of the woman's testimony. Jesus changed this woman's life. But since this is Baywatch, let me just point something out for you. Jesus honored this woman, but Jesus didn't date this woman. And now I know Jesus doesn't date. But the point is, guys, you learned last time that you should treat a woman with honor whether she deserves it or not. Honor is an honor that's not requested by the girl, but demanded by God. But while that's true, it doesn't mean you need to date every girl. You want a woman of honor. And how does a woman of honor act? First, a woman of honor demands respect. And what does that mean? What does it look like for someone to demand respect? Because when you, you hear the word demand, you think a girl that's pretty aggressive, kind of like I was in high school. Honestly, in high school, I would just tell guys to go, like, I don't know how to say it nicely. Um, but I was so mean to guys, so mean. I was bitter and I was sarcastic. And while I'm sure guys certainly respected me or more like just stayed away from me, the respect that I was demanding wasn't coming from understanding the value that God placed on me. It was coming from a place of fear. If my dad cheated on my beautiful mom, what would stop a guy from cheating on me? Better just to make sure I stay as far away from them as I possibly can. A woman of honor's demand for respect comes from understanding the value that God has placed on her. And I'm not talking about self-love, but I'm talking about God's love for you. Because you can feel good about yourself one day and then hate yourself the next. But God's feelings, they don't change. He honors you. He respects you. He says you're worth it. And you know how I know? The woman at the well. Jesus told a woman who was dishonored by her entire community, who was treated as a whore, that she was worthy of love and respect. And I'm just thinking she was human, and there were probably days where she didn't feel worthy. There were probably days where she felt unloved. And if she relied on those feelings, she would constantly allow herself to be disrespected by other men. But fortunately, she could demand respect because Jesus said he made her worthy of it. Girls, you can demand respect because despite how you might feel, God says you're worthy of it. Demanding respect means you understand the value God has placed on you and that he says you are worthy of being treated well. Do you think that Sasha and Malia Obama 
worry about being respected. They might worry about people being fake to them. But to their face, do you, do you think they worry about someone disrespecting them? Probably not. No, because their father is the president of the United States, and the respect he gets for that position is automatically transferred to them. That's what God's offering you. And God's position as the creator of the universe is far greater than being the president. And in humility, we must accept that even though we have sins like the woman at the well, God says, because of what Jesus did on the cross, he made us worthy of being treated well. He says, don't cheapen what I've offered you. Don't cheapen it by letting some guy treat you like trash. A woman of honor demands respect. Understanding the value God has placed on her and that he says she's worthy of being treated well. A woman of honor demands respect, but second, a woman of honor gives respect. How do we give respect to guys? Usually, it's like a guy problem. We say the guys need to respect the girls. But there's some ways I think we need, some things I think we need to work on. One way we can respect guys, a woman can respect a man, is how she dresses. Girls, you know what you're doing. Seriously, you know what you're doing. Don't be dumb. Or don't play dumb, I should say. I know you know because I was in high school, and even though I gave that tough exterior, and probably every guy thought I hated them, the truth is, if there was someone I was interested, I knew if I dressed a certain way, I would get attention. I knew it. There's kind of like this false sense of power because you know if you dress that certain way and you walk by a guy, he's probably going to be like... Yep. And so there's something about that that makes you think you're powerful. But like I said, it's false. Now, an honorable man, as you guys learn, will respect a woman despite what she's wearing. But help brother out. Seriously. Come on. If you are showing it, he sees it. It's not that hard. If you are showing it, he sees it. The only thing he can do from a woman who's just flaunting her body is run away. And guys, there are some situations and some girls you need to run away from. <laughs> In Proverbs 7, someone's had experience. Um, in Proverbs 7, it states, with persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once, he followed her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose till the arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many are her victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading to the chambers of death. Mercy on us. Yes. Guys, the seductive girl might be pleasing to your eyes but she has no respect for you. Girls, how you dress affects guys. I'm not saying you can't be cute or that you shouldn't try to be beautiful. I love makeup and doing my hair. I like nice clothes. That's all good. What I'm saying is that if you choose your clothing for only the purpose to bring attention to your body, you're disrespecting yourself and you're disrespecting all the guys who are trying to be honorable. Another way we disrespect guys is when we use guys to gratify our emotional desires. You say you want love, 
but really you want the romantic comedy kiss in the rain type of romance. That's the relationship you want. You have created a character so grand that no guy could ever live up to it. That is selfish love. Now, do we deserve to be wined and dined, or, I mean, sparkling cidered and dined? Martinelli's. Yes, Martinelli's. Do we deserve to be treated as valuable? Yes, Chad is my husband, and he should be romantic, write me letters, give me flowers. He should express how much he li loves me in romantic ways. But I can't expect him to be perfect. Every day is not a romantic comedy. Sorry, babe. I don't know where you're at, but sorry. Every day is not a romantic comedy. Girls, some, have, some of you have set the romance expectations so high, you might as well look your future husband in the eye and say, you aren't enough. You don't cut it for me. You won't satisfy me. Girls, we need to allow guys to express how they care about us in ways they know how and give them grace to learn the romantic stuff as you go along. You might miss out on an honorable guy because you aren't patient enough to let him learn. Guys, a woman of honor is complete in the love God has for her, and she doesn't need you to be perfectly romantic. But she also understands her value. So if you're not treating her honorably, she also doesn't need you. There, there are no shortcuts to becoming a woman of honor. Guys, there are no shortcuts to become a man of honor. There are no shortcuts to being able to date a woman of honor. Becoming a woman of honor means you're taking your focus from looking for someone and putting your focus on becoming someone. You're taking your focus from looking for someone and you're putting your focus on becoming someone. It is impossible to put God on the back burner and also find a relationship that he desires for you. It's impossible. Pastor Anley Stanley, he had a woman in his church tell him this story. She said when she was in college, she decided that she wasn't giving up her entire faith. She just wanted to put God on the back burner when it came to dating. She wanted to date whoever came her way, and she did. She got a lot of dates. She also did a lot of things she regretted. And then one day, she met a guy. And this guy, he was pretty attractive. And as she began talking to him, she realized he was a Christian. Not only was he a Christian, he was a strong Christian. He was committed to Christ. He was an honorable guy, and he wanted an honorable dating relationship. She goes back when she gets home, and she tells her mom all about this guy. You know what her mom tells her? She says, sweetheart, the problem is a man like that is not looking for a girl like you burn. That girl did what any girl would do if their mom told him that. She cried. <laughs> if my mom told me that, I would be devastated. But what her mom did was truly love her. And that changed the course of this girl's life for forever. She became a genuine, committed follower of Christ. She didn't get the guy, sorry. I, I don't know if she got a guy later, but she became a genuine, committed <laughs> follower of Christ. Girls, it is not until you are in a committed, genuine relationship with God that you will become a real woman, a woman who demands respect and a woman who gives respect. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you so much that you tell us that we are worthy as women of being treated with respect. Thank you so much that you push us to give respect, to not just sit back and say, that's the guy's thing. Lord, I pray that these guys would be men of honor 
and that these women would be men, women of honor. That they would love you so much that they would attract the type of person you have for them. That their focus would be so much on you that when they find that person, it's not that person that completes them. You have already completed them. Now they just get to have a life's journey with this person of serving you together. Lord, I pray that they would trust you to know that you are gonna fulfill their desires of that person you have for them. That they don't need to try to do it themselves. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen.